Hello once again guys, this is James from Squid Gaming bringing you another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial. Today we will be doing level transition elevators as I know a lot of people have wanted. So I'll just quickly fix my map. You need to have a map with two 128 by 128 holes in the walls and also elevators should be the very last thing you ever put in a map they will because once you put them in you can't move them without breaking them and then you'll have to redo a few steps as I'll explain later so just do them last they also replace the player start entity so you no longer need to put a player start and a portal gun next to each other at the start of a thing it'll do all that for you so yeah, 128 by 128 hole in the wall, then go to your entity tool, double click and go func underscore instance and click apply, go to the fix up name, and type in arrival arrival elevator and in the VMF file name I want you to click browse and search for the basically common steam map oh sorry program files whatever your steam is in steam steam apps common portal 2 SDK content maps instances and then into turbine elevator I'll put this in 1080p HD and I'll probably do that for the rest of my videos ever so you can see that and select the arrival underscore elevator A4 base and click open and click apply depending on the speed of your computer that could take quite a while to apply and also it may just turn into a little red cube if that happens just restart hammer and it'll be there now you have this extremely large yellow blob which is the elevator um, model so you don't need to draw each individual part yourself because that will take a very long time and then rotate it and line it up with your 128 by 128 hole in the wall like I'm about to do this can be a little bit tricky as it's not always perfectly uh, straight but you will get it eventually and you want to sink it a little bit into the wall so on like the front of your wall or corridor whatever you're using on the edges of your um, hole it doesn't it's not flickering between the texture of the wall and the no draw texture because that could cause it to bug out and make a hole in everything and not be good like it see it's flickering here so you just want to zoom in, put your scale down nice and small, and then just move it across one. And now it should load fine. Then you want to spin around and go to the other end of your map and make do the same thing. Funk instance and fix that name for this one to be exit exit elevator call it whatever you want but just for simplicity's sake then you click browse again in the VMF file name and it should take you to the same folder 
where you will select departure elevator underscore A4 base. Which is just the same thing. Oops, my mic. Which is just the same thing, but instead of arrival, it's departure. And click apply on that, and it should load. Make sure you press the X on that window for it to load. Then do the same thing again. Line it up. Which once again can be quite annoying. You'll get there eventually. And obviously, if you do it right, you only have to do it once. And then, once again, just sink that into the wall. And that's the placement of the elevators done. Zoom out, you'll just have these two big ass things. The exit one has a large uh, pole going through it, while the arrival one is a little bit smaller. Now this is the slightly uh, tricky bit. Start with the exit elevator, but it doesn't actually matter which one. Change your scale so it's nice and zoomed out. And hold down shift, drag it across one, and then drag it back to exactly where it was. Oops make sure you don't do what I just did and have the scale you've selected to not fit what you already had. I'll just cancel that. So hold down shift and drag it out and then drag it back into exactly the same place. It must be exactly the same place. I think this is. Yep, that's good. And then double click, and you'll have selected one of them, doesn't matter which one. And rename this to Exit Logic. And then in the VMF file name, click Browse again, and select the departure underscore elevator underscore A4 underscore logic. And click Apply and X. And you now have the elevator and the logic module for that same elevator in exactly the same spot. If they are not in the same spot, it will not work. I'm not sure what happens, but it's not good. And if you want to select the logic, you click this bottom uh, cube on this sort of F shape. And that's the logic, and the top one is the actual elevator. Now do the same for this one, hold down shift, drag across and back, let go, and name this arrival logic, and select the arrival underscore elevator underscore A4 underscore logic, and click apply, and the same rules apply with the F thing, F sort of shape and you now have the two elevators. Now the final step to getting this to work is to create a final um, entity anywhere in the entire map so it doesn't have to be visible in the game in a room, it doesn't have to be anywhere really as long as it exists somewhere and change that entity once again to func instance give its fix up name to uh, just to transition then its vmf file name should be the arrival underscore departure underscore transition underscore ents dot vmf which 
is somewhere yeah hopefully oh wait sorry it is in a different folder forgot about that come back to the go back one step up to the instances folder and then go to transitions and do that same name click apply and then exit and you'll have this little these three little boxes two of which are uh, look almost connected but they're not and that's pretty much it I'm not sure how to make it go to a level that you want it to go to that's uh, that'll I guess will be the subject of a future update video for this one I am working on that it's quite complicated as well as this tutorial was as it was the first time any of you are using instances probably or many of you but that's it and now we'll run and compile our map and it will look something like this okay so this is just the loading screen so I'll show you the actual transition in we come up the elevator and here it is there is a way to change these the movie on these screens I'll show you that as well in a future video and this is my room as you can see here is that whole thing I was talking about that is spazzing out I obviously didn't inset this enough I think I yeah I did it with this one but when I move that in I think I just need to move it one more so if yours does that that's the problem just move it in a little bit more and do exactly what you did with the arrival one if that one works and you'll see also that it comes with an emancipation grill um, which if you don't want I will be making another video at some point showing you how to edit instances and delete and add things to them so you could get rid of that and then when you hop in the exit side lights go off you go up and it says end of playtest unless you know how to make it change level which hopefully you do because I don't so thanks for watching guys, this is James from Squid Gaming, I uh, hope you learnt something, and see you next time.